Hello my YouTube family and I know that I'm making this video after a long long time and I've got a great news the news that we have been waiting for more than a year and the news is that Australia is finally opening its borders and this came, news came uh, on November 22nd which was Monday and everyone is excited everyone is elated because they have been waiting this uh, waiting for this news for a long long time and now i know you might be having a lot of questions that is it for every international student is it for uh, fully vaccinated students or partially vaccinated students as well is it for students in india pakistan bangladesh and this and all and is there any cap like 150 students per week or something or is there any catch no, there isn't. So the thing is that Australian government has announced that more than 200,000 uh, people will be allowed back in Australia. And that means that 160,000 students, international students who are outside Australia, they would be able to come back along with the skilled workers. There have been more than 10 uh, subclass, visa subclass that have been approved by the Australian government like they have got the license or they have got the permission to come back and there is no exemption needed so this is the best thing and I got this news on Monday I woke up at 6.30 and I saw a message from a friend he said that bro you can come now and I was like okay this person knows my situation and this person knows that Australian government makes these tall claims of bringing back international students but they haven't given anything solid till now so if he is saying that you can come back that means there has to be a solid information or a solid news article that have been published i checked on the internet and to my surprise scott morrison allowed all international students and he the australian government hasn't even specified the countries like it's amazing i was thinking that they would be uh, making travel bubbles arrangements and stuff like that with the uh, with the countries that have been uh, vaccinated for more than like 70% or something but this was a great news to be honest I did not see it coming and I was elated I, I am pretty happy right now and there was one more thing that I have been saying this that I did not make a video for more than like four months and the reason was that we weren't getting any solid information we weren't getting any happy information the only information that we had was that 250 international students will be allowed in Sydney per fortnight and 240 international students would be allowed in would have been allowed in Victoria in December per fortnight so that was nothing that was just a drop in the ocean but now they have allowed each and every international student has got the right to get back to Australia to get back to their friends to get back to their university to experience the offline education that they subscribe for that they're enrolled in for so this is a great news and one more great news is that i got this news on monday right and i couldn't have waited for the university's approval or university's mail i just booked my flight and i will be traveling to melbourne on december 7th i will be leaving uh, delhi on december 7th and reaching colombo from colombo i would be going to singapore and then from singapore Finally to my dream location, Melbourne. Yeah, it is gonna be a two-stop flight. It's on December 7th. I will be reaching Melbourne on 8th of December. So it's a 21 to 22 hour long flight. Uh, that's nothing because I'm so excited right now. I have been waiting uh, for such a news for a great amount of time. So I am completely elated. I am enthusiastic. I'm making my plans. I, I have been calling my friends and friends who have now become a sort of a family to me. So I've been calling them. I've been giving this info, uh, giving this news, this great news to them that I will be there in on December 8th. And they were also pretty happy. We have been making plans. Okay, we, we, would, we would go there and stuff like that. I would be staying with this friend and stuff. So there is so much excitement in the air that I plan to make a video and I know that this is coming after a long time but now that I'm going back to Melbourne and hopefully inshallah everything goes pretty smooth and there is no problem in me reaching Melbourne. 
so i would be making more videos i will be making a video a travel log from this new delhi airport to melbourne airport a travel journey and stuff like that i would be sharing my experiences so that you guys know that how flights operate and what all things that you have to take care of yeah one one another thing is that uh, fully vaccinated you should ha- you should be fully vaccinated and covid shield and covaxin both have be- been approved so you can take a, you can have a sigh of relief right <laughs> and another thing is that i guess two days or three days prior to the travel you have to take a to take a rt pcr test covid uh, and it should give negative of course if it gives you positive you would be uh, leaving your flight of course okay so this was the great news and i'll keep you guys posted and if you like the video do subscribe because there would be a lot of videos which will be coming on this channel it this channel is going to be alive again finally so you can see how excited i am how happy i am because you know i waited for more than a year and finally i've got the ticket back to melbourne so and yeah if any one of you is traveling from the same flight uh, 7th of december first sri lankan airlines then to singapore airlines so message me on instagram my instagram handle is kh.am00 yeah it's plain and simple you can message me you can follow me and have a safe journey if you guys have already booked your flights and if you haven't what are you waiting for so i'm super excited you can clearly see that so do subscribe my channel and hope you guys have a great year and see you all in australia <laughs>